Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Devil where of course every day is a trade show. Today we got some new products that we just got in that we're going to showcase that I'll show you. So let's get started with these hopper cars from Athern. These are the PS4740 covered hoppers. Check out these guys here. I have a bunch of different row names that I really enjoy here. I got the Great Northern. Really like that look there. This is a beautiful car of the Alaska. That is a great look there. I love that paint scheme. Very classic. We got the MKT, another vibrant paint scheme that sticks out there. Then we have the Norfolk and Western. And finally, the Illinois Central. Now, these hopper cars usually sell for $39.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Doubler for $31.99. And I really like these cars here. If you take a look a little bit closer at this great Norman piece, I love the fact that the logo is uh, separately applied there. I mean, you have all the detailings that are happening here, you know. You hear me talk all the time about details, but, you know, we like to showcase things that have a lot of detail. I just like knowing that my railroad cars look just like the real thing, just a little bit smaller. So I have a whole bunch of different uh, cars here, and of course I have a whole bunch of different numbers, including this one. I actually have a three-pack as well. So if you want to get a whole bunch of different hoppers to run on your uh, railroad, make sure you put those down. So again, these sell for $39.99, but we're selling them for $31.99. I really like these. I think you need them today. What's that? You want some more rolling stock? Well, aren't you getting greedy? Well, we're going to take a look at these cars from Walther's. These are these Trinidad 25,000 gallon tank cars. Though, to be honest with you, I'm looking at them. I don't think they can hold 25,000, but who knows? Anyway, I have a whole bunch of different row names here, and I love the different paint schemes that are happening here. As I, you can see, I have the reflected uh, safety bands that are on here as well. There are a lot of really neat things about these uh, tank cars, and the tank car is actually one of my favorite rolling stock pieces. I'm going to go in for a closer inspection of this one that I have right here, and there is just a bunch happening to this car here. A uh, really great looking display. Look at all that writing that's happening down there. That is awesome. Just the amount of detailing that's going into these cars here. And these are heavy cars too. These aren't lightweight cars that are going to fall off of your layout. I really like the way that these cars look. And they roll great too. Now, these cars retail for $34.98. But we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $29.73. So it's a $30 tank car. I think it's well worth it because there's just a lot of uh, great detailing in these cars. Uh, once again, a bunch of different road uh, numbers that go along with these. So you can have a really nice long tank car train. They go with your really nice long hopper train. So we're building unit trains here today. Maybe we should look at uh, some box cars. Hmm. All right, so since we said it, we're going to have some box cars. So check out these 60 foot high cube box cars once again from Atherin. I have two different uh, road names here. I have Conrail and I have Norfolk Southern. Now, wait a minute. Hold on. 60 foot. What? Uh, I don't know about that. I think that's a little exaggerated. Yeah, a little maybe, wait, maybe it's this way. What? No. no. No, it's the other way. Other way. No. no. This way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, <laughs> go. Uh, yeah, you go. Well, anyway, these are 60 foot high cube boxers. And these are great cars, of course, if you want a nice box here to go on your leg you never have enough box here i mean engineer hall what do you got to now six thousand eight thousand uh we got a whole lot of box cars we got a the box cars you cannot have too many box cars that's right okay as a matter of fact that is your family motto i think there you go all right there's some latin version for that anyone that speaks latin let us know all right so anyway these high cube box cars retail for 49.99 but we're selling them here at yankee dabbler for 39.99 so a great deal to go on some high cube box cars you can always throw in that engineer hall discount to get a little bit more off but uh you know what I, these are nice box cars but i kind of want more box cars you want to look at more, some more box cars i love box cars let's go let's go so I got some more boxcars to take a look at here. These are from the Atherin Genesis line. So these are really nice looking boxcars here. And check out these 50 foot. Mm, yeah, yeah, check relation. Yeah, I don't know about that. All right, these are these 50 foot boxcars. And these are cool looking cars here. I have a whole bunch of different paint schemes here. I particularly like that B&M. I think that is an awesome look for that car there. I mean, these are just awesome looking uh, boxcars here. Of course, everyone needs boxcars. Bias cars are everywhere, and there's a multitude of different uh, things that you can use. Like, you can pretend that you're storing your trains that you're going to buy that are on your railroad going to your house. That That's in depth, right? But there's a whole bunch of different things. I'm going to take a look at this B&M because I really like this color here. But once again, a lot of detailing happening with these cars. And, of course, these are the Atherin Genesis line. So you're getting a really nice, high-quality item here for a very affordable price, too, in my opinion. Because these cars retail for $47.99, but we're selling them here for 
79 so 40 dollars 79 cents great deal to get on these cars and again i have a bunch of different road names or road numbers rather so i could get a nice long unit train a box car so we got the tank car train we got the hopper train now we got the box car train I think we need something to pull these things, don't you think, Engineer Hall? Of course, you ain't going to pull this up, is it? No, it's not. There you All go. right, but before we do that, why don't we take a look at a smaller version of this? Yeah, I don't know about these either. False advertising. But anyway, these are the N-scale 50-foot boxcar variations. So check out these cars here. And again, I have a couple of different of uh, the paint schemes that we just took a look at the HO version. Now I have them for N scale. And believe it or not, they're actually the same price. These retail for $47.99, but we're selling them for $40.79. Now, the thing I really like about these N scale boxcars is these actually have a pretty decent amount of weight to them. So, uh, no, a lot of our N scalers like to weigh their cars down to make sure that they don't fall off the track. But these cars have a pretty good weight to them. Nice detail on these cars as well. So if you're an end scaler and you're looking for a boxcar train, I recommend these because I think they look great. All right, and another thing that we have for end scale is these hopper packs. Now I wasn't gonna take these out because they're actually sealed. So whoever gets them, I don't want them to get an open box here, even though we're just looking at them here. But these are, and let me get the exact name. These are the three bay ribbed open, our side open, hopper cars here and this is the burlington northern santa fe and i have a four pack there but wait i also have which one is this oh see so you know i need to learn how to read then of course i have what's cr what do you think that stands for uh cucamonga ranch oh all right or conrail either or uh n and w i think that one is um nachos and watermelon yeah, not, yeah, oh, yeah, not just a one. Very famous railroad. Uh, of course, here's the body odor railroad. Ooh. <laughs> How it smells. And finally, the Canadian National. <laughs> hey. <laughs> ran, out of, ran out of clever days. But no, these are actually really nice looking cars here. So if you have, you know, these are from Athern. These are great looking cars here. If you're an N-scaler, you want to get a nice open uh, hopper car train. These are a really affordable price too because this four-pack retails for $109.99. Or we're selling here for $87.96. So that's a great deal to get on these hopper cars. I recommend maybe you get a couple of these, uh, be, have a nice long hopper train going. I think they look really great. I know our end scalers are really going to love that. Now, just to check the size, I got something here. We're going to stay in regulation now. That 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 ain't working. We got the right size for the okay. right tool. I got gotcha. you. We got the right tool to get the right size. All right. All right. So, uh, gee, if I only knew how to read. Uh, no, no, I got uh, you. Here you go. I got you. Here right, you go. Is okay. This Let's flip it over here. The end I got gotcha. you. See, okay. see the end scale here? See so, end scale, scale right? Yeah, okay. So, you want to line that up right about there and stuff. So, that's Give or take. 40, 40 feet. Yeah, yeah, there you go. 40 feet. Yeah. And let's see. 40. Oh, wow. Oh, Look at that. Go. Wait, what there is this, go. Engineer Hall? This is actually the Excel Deluxe Model Railroader ruler right there. Wow, that was awesome. We have these here. $9.94. That is a great deal to get. Uh, I love this. This is awesome. So Coney Yankee Delivery has so much stuff here. Wow, my arm's over 300 feet. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyway, as I mentioned here, we had some motor power that we're going to take a look at. We're going to take a look at these Dash 9 44 CWs from Ather. Check out these diesel locomotives here. And we have one of the most striking and most famous paint schemes of all time, the Santa Fe War Bonnet. And I really love that way that that one pops on your railroad. Then, of course, I have here the Southern Pacific. I really enjoy that one as well. I always like that paint scheme. For our friends north of the border, we have the Canadian National. And for our Norfolk Southern fans, well, I know you're not going to be disappointed with that engine. That is a great one. And for any of our Australian fans, guess what? We have the FMG. And that is a, just a very unique engine. Oh, that, man, that's engine 007. Anyway, that is a great looking diesel locomotive here. And Engineer Hall told me that these are the catfish lug. Engineer Hall, what does that mean? Um, you know, back in the day, we call them catfish locomotive because that their Emmy holes look like cash, uh, fish whiskers. Ah, very cool. Now, there's a lot of really neat things that go on with these, including the ditch lights here. We have the various different lighting features here. And these diesels just sound great, but of course, you know we're going to hear them in a minute. I want to give you the price for these diesel locomotives because they retail for $349.99, but we're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $297. 
49 of course always throw that engineer hall discount in here so you know because it's a little bit unusual i think we should go to the uh land down under what do you think and we're gonna take a look at that australian engine so let's go do you come from a land down under okay anyway so i had this diesel locomotive up on the tracks this fmg but two things i forgot to mention here is i have the roller bearing camps under here so they actually spin as the engine goes and i love the chain the separately applied detailing there and actually if you take a look at this canadian national engine here i actually have see-through walkways uh through this that's a neat little subtle addition and of course canadian railroads also require ditch lights on the back as well so that one has them on the back so really neat looking locomotive let's get this one fired up shall we all right let's hear what the horn sounds like Classic bell. Neat. All aboard. All aboard. Now arriving at track number one, 007. Shaken, not sure. So that's a cool looking diesel locomotive. Of course, naturally, if you are a fan of the Dash 9s or you want something a little bit different like this Australian locomotive, get these engines operating on your layer today. I know you're really going to love them. All right, so if you're already not subscribed to Engineer Hall's channel, make sure you click that subscribe button to get caught up with all the latest, greatest things that are happening on this channel. As a matter of fact, don't worry, everyone's okay, but he actually had a little water damage where a pipe burst on top of his layout and a couple of switches got messed up. But don't worry, nothing to worry about because he has insured his layout for $4.8 billion and he's using that money wisely to expand. How many layout, uh, levels do you think your layout's going to be now? About 16. 16? Wow. Are you going to have any room to stand or sit down there? Uh, crawling space only. Crawling space. Ooh, all right. Well, it is what it is, I guess. So stay tuned for those videos. I'm sure they're coming real soon. We're going to conclude with our rail fan video. We're going to go back to the Western Maryland Scenic Railroad to take a look at the 1309 going through the country side hope you enjoy that and until next time i gotta use my new tool here to start measuring my mice as i need to go on a diet but i disagree i think i'm looking no, pretty no, no, 700 feet no oh. no no oh no, i use this, this one yeah that one i got gotcha. you okay yeah, that's the right tool yeah and six inches oh man my waist side's doing great okay man all right now i gotta go see if this thing really holds twenty five thousand gallons i'll take care everyone Whew. i don't know about this one